Welcome to the White Lab at DL in Germany. This is the place where we are running our seminars on lighting design and lighting technology. This time I'd like to show you how you can improve your projects. Instead of having just white boxes and cubes, you can improve them significantly by adding some texture, making your project looking more realistic, more interesting. What I'd like to point your attention to is that we have blank fields here. We have a nice packaging here. I have seen that before in other projects and I would like to show you how you can make quite nice ambience, how you can create the atmosphere without too much work. Therefore, the first thing would now be the textures, that's this field here, and I can create color materials and I can create textures. And here I have all the textures which I want to apply now. I can use the foot here, open and it's going to be here within a second and i can make it a bit more reflective this is going to be used for the screens here so apply with shift the shift button has to be pressed to this surface and second click on the same surface allows me to adjust this picture or even to rotate it if necessary so in this manner i can create this and probably also that surface and once again, create texture material using this one. Apply it here. A second click for adjusting it. I can pick it if I want to have the old one once more. See, pick this one and apply create another texture material, spicy food, shift and it fits, create texture material, open, that's it, and finally I want to use strawberries for this big picture, create texture material, strawberries, and a bit of reflectancy so it looks more precious, and now onto this surface, oh, this time the picture is smaller so i have to make it bigger proportions are not correct so i have to scale it and you see i can take just a segment out of the picture i can choose myself that i want to have more of this strawberry so, and to make it complete i like to use it for this and for that surface then you see these packages, these boxes, are already neatly done. How do I do this? The manner is the same. Create texture. So I use that Minute Mate box. And with the logic that we've learned, I can apply it to this surface. And it's too big. I have to rescale it. Change it here. And change it there. And now it fits, looking quite good. So picking it, this is the size 0 0.1, 0 0.35. So I can adjust it once again here and also the other surfaces. Okay, and now for the apple juice. Create a texture, apple juice. Now I've done have a different layout. You see all the four sides go together. Let me apply it to the entire box, but just with the shift first. Using the blue button to change the height. And now if I do it like before, I have all four sides on one. So I have to make it fit like this. That's the first. But this should be the side. So I'm picking it with this scale applied to the side and to the other side as well by going here and changing the position so it fits fits now this one fits here and i have quite a nice box i could do that to the back side as well but more important is now i take these two elements better on the floor plan and it's easier to handle and I can copy it. Control C, Control V, 
one next to the other. Or I can take all four and create a short copy along a line. Copy along a line. Begin here and end there. And create three copies. Keep that in the direction. So I've got them all together now. That line. All together now like this and this way within seconds you have a nice layout talking about layout what is looking a bit pale and blank is the floor I'll be doing the same like I did before creating texture but now I have to look on my computer for some maps stones tiles tiles will be something nice to look at and I can use tiles like these or like that or like this or that let me open the dark ones and I can apply them to this surface but let me have a look I want it to be each tile to be 50 centimeters or 60 centimeters or 75 let's say each of these tiles is 75 centimeters then I have two tiles going together being 1.5 by 1.5 meters so it would be now enough to just probably bit the values using one or the other kind of calculation method and I can apply it and I can assign a name so that would be tiles one and I can assign it to the floor so that's the size and if I want to change it now now I'll make it half the size I probably make it a bit darker tiles two I can assign it to that surface now, I want these lines to be matching as they're half as big as the others that should be possible okay and this one could also be a bit better of course I want to be the axis is here matching those of the floor grid here two of these tiles fit in one of those and the same size i have here the same thing i want to use also for the right side there you are let me adjust it okay 